Comedone Blackhead Removal Tips and Tricks, plus a few warnings by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be doing something that is not holiday themed despite my current attire. It's going to be just a quick video on comedones and my thoughts on them and really the safe way to use them because there's all these videos that have been floating around the internet recently on blackhead extraction and pimple popping and using all and using these comedones to get stuff out of skin. And the videos don't give you any of the details on how to actually use them and then these sets are being sold like mad all over the internet. The reason this is a bad thing is because you can really damage your skin if you don't know what you're doing with them because, I mean, it's a metal tool that you're using on a very important organ. So, I mean, there's a proper way to do things and I just want to quickly disclose I am not a licensed esthetician and I have not taken any aesthetics courses. That being said, I do a lot of research and I know estheticians and I talk to them. So. This is where I'm getting my information from. If you are a licensed esthetician and you have more to add to this, please comment in the description box below, give people more information, everything helps. Really the key to using these is the prep to your skin because if you just go and try to do it when you know, you've, you're know you cold or you haven't done anything, you've done no prep work, you've got, maybe you're dry or whatever, there's no steam, you're not, your skin isn't moist at all, you're really, it's not gonna go well. It's not gonna be easy, it's gonna be painful, and I mean, you're gonna end up really regretting it. That's the other thing these videos don't show. This isn't comfortable to do. It's not something that you're just gonna, it's gonna be easy, you know. Um, I actually had a model that I was going to demonstrate on for you. I was doing just a little, you know, temporary thing and my model quit. So I'm going to be doing a little bit on myself. I don't really have that much to show you, so I'll do what I can. But for the most part, I just wanna go over how to prep your skin so you're not going to be hurting yourself. And I'll show you a kit that I got that is actually pretty extensive. It's a pretty good one. So I'll show you that and I'll show you how to prep your skin, which is really the most important parts of this whole thing because after you got that, then they're pretty self-explanatory. So that's what I'm going to be showing you guys in this video. I just wanted to do this because, like I said, there's so many videos on just showing you know, stuff oozing out of skin, which I am definitely guilty of watching these things because it's like a train, like it's like, it's like a car accident. You can't look away. You want to, but you can't. So anyways, that is, that was just my little two cents on this. I hope this guy, I hope this will help you guys out because there really needs to be more beneficial information out there. So please click subscribe, see all my future videos as well. Most of them from the next few weeks are all going to be Christmas or Hanukkah themed or something like that. But um, and this one is just getting thrown in there, thrown in the bunch. So I hope you guys like it and please click subscribe, see all my future videos as well. So here's the kit that I'm using is from Ejubis. And so it's actually a pretty large kit, almost to the point where I don't know really if you need all of them, but there is a little guide, I guess you could say, in it that will tell you what each one they think is intended to be used for or what they have um, each one is meant for. And I guess depending on... I mean, I guess some of the bigger ones, like if you have um, blackheads on your back or something, or, you know, bigger ones like that, that that would be beneficial for. For me, I pretty much end up just using the same thing for everything. This little one that's got kind of a triangle shape on it, that's kind of my, the one that I go to, and you'll see me using it in just a moment. But to prep your skin, as you can see, I just took a shower. So I've got my hair still wet. I did this immediately. I did not do anything to my hair. I didn't get dressed. I'm just wearing a robe. I, immediately after the shower, you're going to want to take and start doing this. And you're going to want to take your favorite moisturizer and give yourself a little facial massage. It doesn't have to be anything too crazy. Especially focus on just kind of rubbing and warming the areas that you are going to want to focus your extractions on. So for me, that's mainly, mainly my nose. So I'm just going to kind of go and I'll, you know, make sure that everything's kind of massaged in. So the steam from the shower is going to be your first step. So that's the first thing you're going to need to make sure that you do. And that's if you don't have the little steam machine that you that gets used in the facial, the shower is the next best thing, especially if you're doing this at home. So that's why immediately after the shower, you're going to want to do this. And I would recommend showering with your door closed and no exhaust fans on. So now for like this one, that's more of like a white head. I'm just, I, it's underneath the skin, so just try and take that little thing and you poke it, and then just run the little extraction tool over the top of it. So then, for say, on like your nose where it's like little blackheads, that is where that little triangle shaped one comes in handy, and you just kind of slowly run it down your skin. So the moisturizer, that's a big key that you have to do, or that you wanna do before you try to do this. You wanna make sure your skin is warm, you don't wanna be cold. So I know my bathroom actually works really well for this because there is a heater in there that works wonderfully. And I sat next to the little, not heater, but it's a vent that in the winter especially just 
shoots out warm air. So I sat next to my warm air and the showers left everything really steamy because if you have your door closed and you don't let any of that steam out, it's going to stay steamy in there, which is going to really help this out. And then that moisturizer is going to help this tool glide across your skin and it's just going to keep everything working smoothly. It's just going to make it easier and you can just kind of go across and as you can see, it will take things out. The other thing I want to mention is that you don't want to do this too often. Four to six weeks is about what I would recommend. So I hope this helps you out. Come with any questions. I'm happy to help and I'm sure other people will too. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!